Today's Namaste Yoga continues our Hanuman series, and the class is called Strong Like Hanuman. Hello and welcome to episode 213 of Namaste Yoga. We're continuing our Hanuman series and today's class is called Strong Like Hanuman. So I, I bet you can figure out what we're doing today. Let's start by thanking squeezed yoga clothing for my clothes. I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt today because it's minus 23 Celsius here today, which is cold, <laughs> too cold for my liking. And a nice, um, purple bamboo cap sleeve underneath and then the new gray leggings which are really nice they're actually really thick too which is great on a cold day today and also thanks to dusky leaf for my yoga mat and also for the um we're going to use blocks today you may need blocks so i like the cork blocks they're nice and heavy we can you could they're so heavy you could use them as weights too <laughs> um and um, just to let you know on our membership site, welcome to all the new members. We've had lots of new members. It's January, so lots of people making great intentions about practicing yoga daily and things like that. And Kaysen has been um, doing making suggestions for membership classes that you can practice every day on the membership site, which is great. And we've been filming hippie shorts, and um, those will be ready in the next few weeks and getting ready for the mindful parenting retreat. So if you're a member, that's part of your membership um, fees. You know, you get that all part of your membership and it's all online. You don't have to go anywhere for it. And because our winter solstice retreat was so popular and people loved including their children in the retreat, we're gonna do another one where you include your children with crafts and cooking and yoga and meditation and uh, walking meditations and things that you can do with your kids. So everybody's looking forward to that. So mark your calendars, February 14th, 15th, and 16th for that one. In North America, that's Valentine's Day weekend. And even in some provinces in Canada, we um, have a long weekend for that. We get Mondays off because it's family day here. So it'll be a great weekend to have, to dedicate some of your time to yoga with your children. We have a speak pipe testimonial from Christine. Hello, Melissa. Good morning. My name is Anna Christine. I live in California, in the Bay Area. I love your class because you make the class for people just like me. Uh, no profession, have the problem in my back, and you help a lot. I love your idea about this program, okay? Uh, God bless you. Namaste. Happy New Year. Thank you. I'd love to hear from you. If you'd like to leave a voicemail for me, you can do so on my website at melissawest.com. And let's get to our class today. So you can go ahead and rest back and lie on your back. This just gives you some time to transition from the busyness of your day-to-day -day life. And it also gives your body a chance to settle and ground a bit, release some muscular tension. So take a deep breath in and let it fall out of your mouth and start to feel your bones sink into the ground and drop down through your muscles and feel some tension release into the ground here. And begin to connect to your breathing. As I begin to share the teachings today, Hanuman is a mystic being who is half human and half animal, a type of God known in the Hindu pantheon as a Kim Purush. Kim Purush means, is it human? 
referring to being a superhuman. So I often think of these Hindu characters kind of like comic book characters. <laughs> Although Hanuman is super strong, his strength actually comes from the repetition of the powerful mantra Ram. And we're going to be um, doing that mantra to towards the end of the class today. This mantra is said to give liberation from the drudgery of mortal life, our day-to-day -day, um, existence. Hanuman is described as the world's first Superman. So that's where I kind of get that kind of comic book superhero reference. He accomplishes feats of amazing strength in his life. And I'm not going to go into detail on these stories now because we will later in the series. I want to just keep it really simple as we move through so that we're just focusing on one thing at a time. As we learned in episode 211 on Monkey Mind, Hanuman has perfect mastery over his mind. But not only does he have perfect mastery over his mind, but he also has the most developed body. He is sometimes called Bajrang Bali, which means one whose body is like a thunderbolt and whose movements are like lightning. Hanuman is so strong that he can lift mountains. And since Hanuman is so no well known for his strength, he is known somewhat like a patron saint of physical culture. His image is it, his image is enshrined in gymnasiums all over India. It is said that one who meditates on Hanuman will attain his power and strength. Many of the physical characteristics of Hanuman also display his strength. His tail arches upwards, which is a symbol of his strength and agility. And he wears only a loincloth, just like wrestlers and bodybuilders. He is usually shown standing guard holding a mountain in one hand, again displaying his strength. So as you reflect on Hanuman's strength, maybe you reflect on where you are trying to cultivate strength in your life right now and where you can use strength in your life and begin to form an intention for your practice today. What is it that you're trying to create in your life and how can your yoga practice best serve you in this creation? And once you've formed your intention, you can actually bend your knees, roll to your right side, and you make your way up onto all fours. We're going to begin just by warming up our spine and cat pose today. So you can come onto all fours with your hands underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips, and just spread your fingers nice and wide. And just exhale and round up through your back. And inhale and arch up through your back. Exhale and round up through your back. And inhale and arch through your back. And then walk your hands over to one side and same thing, breathe out and round, breathe in and arch.
And then come back to the center and you're going to walk over to the other side so that you're side bending, pull your left hip back and same thing, breathe out round. Breathe in, arch. And then come back to the center and we're going to rotate your spine. So inhale, take your left arm up. And exhale, bring your left arm through, lower your left shoulder to the ground, your left side of your head to the ground and tuck your chin so the back of your neck is long. So you're doing thread the needle here. So you're rotating your spine. And then slowly come on up and out. And we'll go to the other side. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, rotate so that your right shoulder comes down to the ground. The right side of your head rests on the ground. Let your shoulder be heavy. Chin tuck so the back of your neck is long. And then you can come back to the center. And now that your spine is warmed up in all directions, we can start to do our strong like Hanuman poses. So we're gonna start by having a strong core. And we're gonna do plank pose, Uthita Chaturanga Dandasana. So you're gonna come down onto your forearms and I'll show you a modified version and a full version of plank. Okay, so your forearms are on the ground. And for the modified version, you're gonna pull your hip bones back, press into your elbows and your forearms. And you can stay here, or you can tuck your toes under and lift your knees. And we're gonna hold here. And then slowly lower it down. You're gonna come up and back into child's pose for a rest.
Okay, and then you're going to roll up through your spine and come over onto your right side and take your legs out in a long straight line, come onto your right elbow, pull your shoulder back and you can, I'm going to actually bend, I recommend that you bend your knees here because we're going to come back to this with straight legs later. If you want, you don't have to. And then you're going to pull your rib cage away from your elbow, your bent arm, until your hips come off the ground. Stack your left hip bone so it's on top of your right hip bone and reach your arm up into the air. If you feel this too much in your shoulder, you need to take it into your core more by lifting your rib cage away from your shoulder more. Smile. And then slowly lower down. We're going to come back to a front plank here. But first, because it's so nice and sunny here, I'm actually warm enough to take off this long sleeve top. Can you believe it? <laughs> you get to see a short sleeve top on me. Amazing. <laughs> Never happens. So you're going to come back over in my whitey whitey arms right now. <laughs> okay, so you're going to come back onto your forearms. And we're going to do another front plank. So you've got the option to do it modified where you pull back through your hip bones. Keep your bum tucked so no butts in the air. Also no, no, no ditch backs, okay? So you gotta tuck your tailbone under and pull up or you can lift your knees. Here we go, breathing. Strong like Hanuman. Okay, other side. So you're gonna come over and we're gonna do that side plank on the other side. <sighs> Take your legs out long. I hope you had your, what is it that we eat for breakfast? What's it called, Tim? Chia, I hope you had your chia. Your chia and your hemp seeds for breakfast. Okay, pull your shoulder down and pull it back. Bend your knees back and then lift your rib cage away. Keep lifting until your hips come off the ground and then stack your, your right hip bone on top of your left hip bone and bring your, your right arm up and reach up. We're gonna hold. Smile. 
Okay, good. All right, let's see what's next. Oh, yes. Are you ready? <laughs> You're going to come on over. You're going to like this. <laughs> this is for Sarah Milgan. I hope Sarah's watching. She always used to do lunge pose this way. She's got strong legs, strong lady. Okay, you're gonna come up onto your knees here. You're gonna walk your left leg through into lunge pose. And you need to make sure your back foot's on your yoga mat. Okay, and this is called Hanum po Hanuman pose, Anjane Asana. We're gonna do like a modified version of Hanuman pose. And you're going to bring your arms up. Actually, you'll probably need to have your hands down for the time being, because you're gonna tuck your back toe under and lift your back leg. Come up, bring your arms up. So hello, legs. Okay, release. Whew. Okay, and we have two sides. <laughs> Aren't you happy that we're human beings? <laughs> okay. I was trying to think of if there's any animals that just have one side, and I was thinking of um, worms, <laughs> snakes. <laughs> we always used to make this joke with Trinity when she was baby, well, not baby, little kid. And we put her to bed at night and we pretend to be Lowly the Worm, you know, from Richard's Scary Books. Turn off the light. I'm Lowly the Worm. <laughs> put the light off with her nose. <laughs> she thought that was so funny. If you have little kids, you can do that with them. If they're giving you a hard time going to bed. <laughs> okay, lunge pose on the other side. I digress. Made me think of Lowly the Worm. Right now, I bet you were Lowly the Worm doing lunge pose. Okay, bring your left leg up. Come up. Bring your, oh, this is easier on my right side so far. Okay, and then release down, and we're going to do a version of Downward Facing Dog, Adho Mugh Swanasan. It's called Dolphin Pose, where you do Downward Facing Dog on your forearms. So the way this works is you come down onto your forearms, and you want to make sure that your elbows and your wrists are equal distance apart. So the tendency is for your elbows to splay out. So start with them at least together in parallel. Tuck your toes under, inhale, and exhale. Come into downward facing dog on your forearms. This is really great for building upper body strength. And I also find it to be really great for releasing tension in my upper back and my neck. Okay, and then you can come back up onto your hands, come into Adho Mukh Swanasan, and from there you can walk your feet into your hands and come up to standing.
Okay, from standing, we're going to do some chair pose. So this is the one where I thought it would be great if we had some, use the blocks, because it's great for alignment. So what you're gonna do is take your block and place it between your knees and just inhale here. Take your arms in front of you, pull them back. You can even use your second block actually here because it gives you, you can feel strength in your shoulders here. Inhale and exhale, sit back here and sit down. Try and bring your legs as close to parallel to the ground, your upper legs. And then release this and make your way up to standing. And then we're going to do um, Utkata Konasana to Parsva Konasana. So we're going to do Goddess Victory Squat to Side Angle Pose. So take your feet wide and turn them to um, about 11 and one o'clock, and you're gonna inhale here. And exhale, sink straight down. And bring your arms up. So goddess victory squat here, Real, a lot of strength in your legs here. And then you're going to come on up and release your arms and turn your right foot in and your left foot out. Sink down through your left sit bone. Bring your left arm to your left leg. Circle your right arm all the way around. And then what you're going to do so that we can make this not only just for your legs but also for your core is bring your left arm up. And then release that and come on back up so that your arms are at, your legs are at 11 and two o'clock again. And inhale here. Exhale, sink straight down. Bring your arms up. And then do a little Hanuman flex of your biceps. And come on up. <laughs> Turn your left foot in, your right toes out. Sink down through your right sit bone so that your right leg is as close to a right angle as you can go. So that your right leg is, your top right leg is almost as, cl as close as you can come to parallel to the ground. Oops. <laughs> okay, let's have a break. <laughs> My legs are feeling like jello are yours. <laughs> we're, we're trying to be as strong as Hanuman, but 
we need your help, Hanuman. <laughs> Shake out your legs. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, calling on Hanuman's strength for the other side. <laughs> okay, here we go. Sink. And then bring your left arm around in front. And then for the core strength. Draw up through your pelvic floor, draw your navel back to your spine. Whew. Okay, good. And release that out. And we're gonna come back to downward facing dog. So come up to the top of your mat. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hinge forward through your hips. And you're going to bring your palms to the ground. Step your feet back. Come into Adho Mukh Swanasana. Okay, from Downward Facing Dog, you're going to lower onto your elbows into Dolphin. And from Dolphin, you're going to come into Plank. And back to Dolphin. Plank. Dolphin, plank, to dolphin, this is strong like Hanuman, <laughs> plank, press through your forearms and elbows, dolphin, plank, dolphin, one more, plank, and dolphin, oh my gosh, okay, that was really good. We did it. Okay. Now, for the fun, clear some space behind your mat. Oh. <laughs> Do some wiggling. <laughs> All right. Next, fun thing is side plank on your arm. And you're going to do it on your left arm first. So you're going to take your body in a straight line. And. You're going to take your top leg behind you and you're going to lift up into side plank. Okay. And bring your arm up. And then you're actually just going to step back so that you can go right into wild thing pose. Okay, and then if you're ready for the other side, let me just show you a modified version of this too. You can always come onto your elbow, lift up, reach up, and open that way. Okay, it's actually kind of easier to do the back bending part of it from, well, maybe you could do it like this there and open. It's easier to do it on your arm to do that opening. Okay, so you can always do it with bent knees is what I'm saying that would be easier because you shorten the lever, okay? So we'll do the other side. So you gotta come over to the other side of your mat. Body's in a straight line, hands under your shoulders, take your top leg back. So you're gonna lift up, step on your back foot, lift up and open. And then release down. And we're going to do our uh, twist in the form of an abdominal toner on your back. So, and if you use your block, that would be good too. So lie down on your back. 
And please, uh, <laughs> are you winded? I'm winded. I'm tired. We've just, this is your last efforting, okay? The next one, we'll gather our strength by doing the mantra Ram. Okay, so you're going to make a nice soft tea with your arms here. You're going to bring your legs up to a 90 degree angle. If you are a crazy person and you want more, you can have your legs straight. Okay, bend your knees, inhale. Exhale, you're gonna slowly lower your legs over to the right side using the weight of your legs as resistance. Inhale here. Exhale. Lift and bring your legs back to the center. The weight of your legs creates resistance. Inhale. Exhale, slowly lower down to your left side. Use the weight of your legs to create resistance. Inhale. Exhale, use your core strength to bring your legs back center. Inhale. Exhale, slowly lower down. Inhale. Exhale, legs come back to the center. Inhale. Exhale, slowly lower. Inhale. Exhale. One more each side. Oh my gosh, my legs are shaking. <laughs> Inhale. Exhale, slowly lower. Inhale. Try not to press into your arms to bring your legs back to the center. I know because I'm cheating in doing that, so you shouldn't cheat and do that. Last one, and then we gather strength by re repeating a mantra. Okay, bonus, inhale. Exhale, slowly lower your heels to the ground. Inhale, exhale and pick them up. Great, okay. Whew. All right, good, good enough. You know, make your way up to seated. And we will do our mantra. Okay, so um, I'll just get Tim to time us. I think we'll do our mantra for three minutes and we're just going to be doing the mantra Ram. Okay, so there are uh, two main mantras to Hanuman. And one is the Hanuman Chalisa. And it's really long and it's quite complicated and Rashmi is teaching it to me right now and we've been working on it for over a month so far and <laughs> we haven't gotten all the way through it and it's very long and complicated and so the thing is they say if that's too hard then you should just chant Ram <laughs> so it's really great because Hanuman Chalisa is quite difficult <laughs> so we have this option to chant Ram which if you've ever tried to learn the Hanuman Chalisa, it's, it's really great that you can just chant Ram and get the same effect. <laughs> I think you have to have tried to learn the Hanuman Chalisa to really appreciate the simplicity of Ram. <laughs> okay, so it is, uh, we'll just make space with breath and a sigh and we'll, we'll just repeat that mantra over and over again. Ram, 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 Ram,
So as you finish chanting the mantra Ram, just notice what aspect of you feels stronger. Or if you feel stronger in any way at all. And you can finish your practice seated or you can go ahead and rest back in Shavasana. Reflect back on this class on strength. And when we practice creating strength in our bodies as yogis, we're cultivating that strength in our bodies so that we can have strength in our lives, so that we can have mental strength, emotional strength, spiritual strength, energetic strength and that we can take that strength with us off our mat and into our lives. So what does it mean for you to cultivate strength in your life? 
And what areas of your life would you like to cultivate strength? Maybe where in your life do you need to flex a little more muscle? What's one small thing you can do to flex a little more muscle this week? Think about what your action is going to be for that. Gradually allow your breath to deepen, begin to wiggle and stretch out. You can rest here for as long as you wish. And when you feel ready, you can bend your knees and roll to your right side. And slowly make your way up to seated. So I wanna know what's your action step that you're going to take to flex a little muscle in your life this week. Where in your life are you being called to flex a little bit of extra muscle this week? So leave your comments. If you're a member, leave your comments on the membership site. And if you're not a member, you can leave your comments at melissawest.com. If you're watching this um, on YouTube, wherever you're watching this, the link to where the class is at melissawest.com is the first thing in the show notes. So on YouTube or iTunes or Blip, that's always the first link in the show notes is where the class is at melissawest.com. So you can follow that link and then you can leave your comments right there at melissawest.com. So I look forward to hearing where you're going to flex a little muscle in your life this week. And I'll see you on the membership site or I'll see you next week. Namaste.